Hi, my name is Gabriela from Tulip Art Designs and you are seeing this video probably because you are quite creative, you like watercolors and you like to just paint for relaxation and to have a lot of fun. In today's video I want to share with you uh, my absolutely new, <laughs> brand new watercolor palette. I just set it up and I am showing you this because I am switching to a uh, professional watercolor so uh, it's quite exciting new start. Let's just see how, uh, how to set up a new ceramic palette. So let me just show you the watercolors I chose to start up with. I wanted to switch to a professional watercolor and I picked my Mary Blue. It's an Italian brand and I did this because every time when you paint with watercolor you breathe in less or more some toxics and I wanted to minimize this. And uh, my Mary Blue they are using really um, pure segments so no synthetic ingredients so that was quite important for me and um, here i will show you the colors that i chose to start up with so i will have these 14 colors to fill in my ceramic palette these two were one of yeah these two were two of my favorite uh, colors so the first one is burnt amber and the second one is uh, paints gray colors that i really really love and i can use almost all the time then i have a uh, prussian blue it's a color that i didn't use before but i really liked it and i just decided to include it in my watercolor palette this one is cobalt blue it's very similar to what i had before from winsor and newton so i really love it and i kept it in my palette these two i the next colors are some green and this is my hookers green and the next one will be cobalt green light you can definitely mix up your own greens and in one of my next videos when i am showing you an exercise to get to know your palette you will see that actually the greens that you can mix up by yourself can be way way nicer and rich uh, than what you have on your palette this is my green gold it's it's just amazing green that i didn't have before and when i saw it oh my god i just got in love with it it's amazing and if you try it out you will know why i got in love with this the next one that I will put here is yellow ochre. It's a color that I always use. I can get these earth colors just adding a little bit of yellow ochre into the other color. And then I have permanent yellow deep. And after that I have primer yellow. So it it's a little bit like i chose one warm yellow and one more let's say cooler um color so when i mix my colors i can get different tones and uh, values then i have burn sienna it's something that I always have in my palette and I also had it before um, when I was using Windsor & Newton Cotman. This is my permanent red light. It's a very nice color. 
and the last ones will be two rose colors so this one is a lizardin and the last one will be a rose lake which will just help me get the perfect purpose all the time it's just amazing how much vibrancy I have in my new palette I'm just so excited to try it out now I will just let this dry for at least 24 hours before I test it out so here well I didn't wait I just couldn't I really wanted to swatch these colors so I will show you what I have
so uh, this video was not sponsored in any way i hope you enjoyed watching it and i hope that it was helpful enough so that was it i hope you liked it and i hope you enjoyed my video if so please subscribe for my channel and just like the video because that's how i will be able to keep creating new videos and growing here see you next week bye